Um, I discovered uh, someone on YouTube named Ralph Smart. Uh, yes. At Infinite Waters. Yeah, right. And um, he was talking a lot about the seven day vegan challenge. Mm -hmm. And I already knew that I didn't like to eat meat from when I was a kid because mm -hmm. I used to be forced to eat meat and like forced to eat, you know, that whole, you got to sit here until you eat all the mm -hmm. crap on your plate yeah. and they would make your plate and it'd be like an adult sized plate. Yeah. It was terrible, man. Like people, or more, at least my parents didn't know how to raise me <laughs> right you intuitively so, just knew exactly and every time that i was forced to eat meat or every time that i did eat meat i just felt bad i felt bad <clears throat> so as soon as i was uh presented with a paradigm shift or this new perspective of right. you don't have to eat animal mm. products i kind of just went with it and um after the seven days i was like i feel so good i don't want to go back to eating Mm -hmm. animal products at all because I felt so good mm -hmm. and uh that led me to just uh researching as much as I could about all the minerals and the vitamins that our body needs mm -hmm. and uh to building a kind of a lifestyle around where I can be able to do what I want and eat what I want and um learning how to do that has probably been the biggest challenge because right. just eating fruit when you're coming off of eating a lot of just probably a lot more than you need to eat, honestly, mm -hmm. then you get hungry a lot. Yeah. So I, I was just, that. I, my, my best advice was to just eat so much like fruits and vegetables that you have no room for anything else. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I just, packed in so much fruit and vegetables that I yeah. couldn't eat anything else and it got <laughs> it did get expensive at a point but I uh my my thought my mentality on it was why not put the investment into my health now and not into the doctor's pockets later vax yeah that makes a lot much that's what makes a lot of sense were you eating nuts as well or just like the fruits yeah and yeah nuts as well I, nuts uh, as well yeah, I, um, I like to work out. Uh, so if I just eat fruit and vegetables, I don't get as much gains. Right. Because it has a lot of protein, the nuts. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the biggest, uh, the biggest uh, thing was finding out, like, what things are good and what doesn't have a bunch of pesticides in it yeah because, yeah yeah Yeah, i want to eat as healthy as possible and i want um i want to get as much nutrition as possible so mm -hmm. making the switch to organic was another big thing yeah you, you're getting you're getting double the nutrients exactly it's it's definitely worth paying a little bit more and you're helping mm -hmm. out the farmers that are farming organic right and you it, I, and you should definitely be getting local organic, right? Because oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because when food's coming from the other side of the world, it's already losing so much of its nutrients, right? Yeah, and you, it's being shipped, and more often than not, it's being frozen. Frozen, and yeah. I, that's all right, like, if you're going to use it for, like, a smoothie or whatever. But you want fresh fruit, like <laughs> this, this melon right here. Oh, yeah nice. that's that looks good <laughs> from a local farm good organic the melon was like oh my gosh it was so big and it's so juicy <laughs> <laughs> oh I, I love yeah go ahead one of the one of the things i've been finding out very recently is like you know we don't need a lot of protein i've been finding out oh, and don't. that a lot of protein's actually bad for you like really bad for your yeah. like, blood vessels and um yeah and and and, and you, it's it's weird because you see this whole shift i feel like recently in our like grocery stores like more protein more protein more protein and it's like we actually don't need that much i found out yeah the marketing makes you think that you need a bunch mm -hmm. you don't need a bunch and a lot of it you can get from vegetables maybe not as much in fruits but there is yeah. some protein in fruits but like spinach has a lot of protein spinach kale has a lot of protein kale. and 
uh yeah i'm not sure about lettuce honestly i think lettuce i don't think lettuce water. does <laughs> yeah, lettuce is like one of the lesser nutritional ones actually right yeah <laughs> and if you do get lettuce make sure it's dark green like as green as right. you can possibly get yeah it. the light That's ones not nah. where the nutrients <laughs> is at yeah watercress i that's what yes, infinite oh waters God, is so big yes. on i haven't had that, like i haven't had much of that i've only had it one time it was in mm-hmm. california it's the yeah. only place i've ever been able to find it really yeah, yeah otherwise you got to order it online and that's that's the same thing with the, right. the shipping it you're losing unless you get it like dried and powdered but even then i'm pretty sure you're losing some stuff mm-hmm. yeah I, i've been actually doing the powders i got like chlorella i got the chlorella. oh yeah yeah um, chlorella is great spirulina. spirulina yep yep exactly oh it's so nutrient oh yeah packed. maca is good too maca yes yeah you can overdo maca though and like get a hormone imbalance so make oh, sure really? you yeah make sure you don't overdo it mm. wow yeah i didn't know that <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's it has a little bit of fertility issues too if you ever do it. So, oh really? Just, just be conscious with it. But it yeah. makes it makes things taste so freaking good. Yeah, it's like chocolatey basically. It's got such a good smell too. It's one of my mm-hmm. favorite smells out of all the powders I use. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people say, you know, I feel like the biggest thing that people always say when it comes down to a vegan or vegetarian diet is you can't get all your nutrients. That's what they always say. Well, um, it depends how you eat. And honestly, most people that are eating the standard American diet uh, or sad <laughs> are not getting <laughs> are not getting even close to the nutrients that vegans and vegetarians are getting. Mm. Because most of them, they only want to eat meat. They only want to eat mm-hmm. cheese. They don't want to eat any other thing that actually gives them nutrients. Mm-hmm. Right. And okay. you can you can. S- see it and not only the people and their emotions and the way sure. things are happening but you can see it in the statistics of like obesity yeah uh, i'm pretty sure pretty sure america clogging them arteries yeah killing people straight yeah, killing people I know. and then they go, and then they go to the doctors and they fund the doctor's pockets by getting medication right come into the Heart doctor medicine. all the time mm-hmm. all the time mm-hmm and they give away all their power because they're not taught that they can heal themselves. And I say they as in like a general term for whoever doesn't have this knowledge. And that doesn't make anybody any better or any worse than anybody else. It just means that they've learned things or they know things that other people don't. And that's exactly what we do things like this for. So we can teach people. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's interesting. I watched this one Joe Rogan podcast. He was saying, yeah, me too. (laughs) He was saying that he went on solely just eating meat for a whole month. Yeah, the carnivore diet. Yeah. And he was explaining like, he did, he he was like way more aggressive, he was saying, like way more aggressive and like, like not level headed, it seemed like. You know, like probably really high levels of testosterone. Plus, yeah, depending, yeah, yeah. On, depending on the meat that you eat, you get all the uh, all the antibiotics and the hormones that they pump into the meat to be able to put it on the market. True that. And oh my gosh, have you seen some of these documentaries of where they go into the factory farms? I have seen they, some. They see the the big. They'll be like this big of cancerous tumors, and they'll cut oh, them open. Oh. And squeeze all the stuff out and then they'll send it back through with all the other meat no. and then they'll send that to the public and the public eats it up oh and then when the old stuff when the stuff on the shelf gets old they send that back and they put it in with newer newer meat and then they put blood in it and make, to make oh, it red and they, then they do put that. that back out on the shelf yeah oh, i didn't know they did that one oh Ugh. Ah, it's sketchy it's sketchy stuff eating me <laughs> it's sketchy even eating the vegan meat and stuff because, oh yeah uh, that's a good point there was a there was a study on that it was a long time ago but there was a study on that where like a big percentage of that had like two percent uh two percent animal uh protein in it really and also also some of it had like human protein in it so like human what? dna and animal dna yeah like, it was only like a really small amount, but still. Still, that there. does not need to be there. No, not at all. Uh-uh. 
Not at all. And the people don't even realize that Monsanto, one of the biggest GMO companies, bought uh, what's it called? Is it Beyond Meats? Or is it's like an it's an, like another big one, you know, vegan. Um one. is it they might own Morningstar, I think. Morningstar, it might be I that. I think one. they own Morningstar, yep. yeah. They've owned Morningstar for a long time and they they're moving away from the GMO stuff, they say, but do we know that? Who mm-hmm. is there an independent person that's just gonna go around and test all of them? No. No, no there's not. Yeah. And really the 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 regulations we're just trusting these companies. Mm-hmm. The only thing that we see is a sticker or like a oh. little label. Sure. So we don't know where any of this stuff comes from. You really don't. You'd have to inquire yourself. And even if you try to do that, they'll probably shut the door on your face. Exactly. Because they don't want to tell you that they're spraying pesticides on it so much that the people have to wear hazmat suits to go collect it. Mm-hmm. They, don't, they don't want to tell you that these seeds have been GMO bred to the point where they make people infertile. Mm-hmm. They don't want to tell you all this stuff. And when they when they, they try to say that this roundup, I, I saw a, an interview, an interview of uh, this executive for roundup, the Monsanto uh, company, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. An executive saying, literally says, it's safe enough to drink. <laughs> And then he gets offered a glass and he's like, you're insane. <laughs> he's, he's like freaking out because he thinks that he might have to drink it because he just said it was okay to drink. Wow. And he's like, I'm not dumb. I'm not going to drink that. And it, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. How are they going to like straight lie to people because they're making money? That's mm-hmm. awful. That's awful. And you're, you're messing up our whole entire world just for a little bit of paper that you can make and any other way any yeah. other way right you can do it ethically like you can right. you can make your money doing good things absolutely absolutely and i i really admire the people like the artists and the people people like you that make content and and get out there and they teach people and they provide a service and that's going to come back to you buddy I appreciate that you too Real man <laughs> you too yeah you yeah, like like I said, like I told you before, I started following you for like all all of the amazing like nutritional stuff you were posting. Made sure my little brother followed that page when once he got his Instagram. Like you're making a big impact as well. Yeah, Huge and impact, I bro. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna get back to posting more more health based content because I want I want to share that knowledge too. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like a lot of this a lot of the stuff I've been posting lately is like knowledge and like uh astrological and like spiritual and um Mm -hmm. and uh, like memes like to make people laugh i feel like people need that energy right (laughs) now you got some funny stuff on there (laughs) yeah true people need that right now it's true yeah and uh uh, intuitively i feel like i just post what i feel like people need and a lot of the times like people are asking me for these certain things and i'll i'll post it if i can get to it Mm -hmm. right yeah I mean, you're following your intuition. That's the most important thing. Exactly. Intuition is higher intelligence. Oh, yeah. You should should, um, always follow your intuition. Make Mm -hmm. sure you clean your gut first, though. (laughs) Yeah, true. Drink some kombucha. Yeah. 